welcome to 5 minute school and in today's video we're going to discuss the differences between strong and weak acids very briefly. So let's begin. So as we know, based on the bronsted lowry definition of an acid, they are proton donators or hydrogen ion donators. Let's have a look at strong acid. The equation at the top is a typical equation for the dissociation of a strong acid. So we have the strong acid here, plus water, gives hydroxonium ions and a negative ion. Now this negative ion is the, well, it depends on the acid that you use. Okay, now the first thing to note is that the reaction is reversible, so it can proceed in both directions. So it can go this way, and it can also go this way. Now, uh, because acids are so good at donating hydrogen ions, in most cases, the reaction only occurs in one direction. So, it can be considered virtually as a one-way reaction. Now, let's look at the equation below. We have hydrogen chloride plus water gives hydroxonium ions and a chlorine ion, chloride ion. Now, because hydrogen chloride is very, very good at donating this hydrogen ion to form hydroxonium ions, uh, what happens is we consider the reaction one way. So the reaction will occur in one direction. This is because at any one time, virtually 100% of the hydrogen chloride will have reacted. And that would produce the hydroxonium ions and the chloride ions. So because of this, hydrogen chloride is described as being a very strong acid. And the definition of a strong acid, again, is one which is virtually 100% ionized in the solution. Now, other strong acids can include sulfuric acid and also nitric acid. Now, let's talk about the weak acids. Now, weak acids, on the contrary to strong acids, they don't ionize as fully in water. So here we have ethanoic acid, which is CH3COOH plus H2O, gives ethanoic ions and hydroxonium ions. Now, Again, the reaction can proceed in both directions, but because the ethanoic ions and the hydroxonium ions can combine together again and form ethanoic acid and H2O in this direction, it's considered a weak acid because the reaction is also proceeding in the left direction, just as much as on the right. This is the difference, so as you know, the weak acid won't ionize fully in the water. This is because the reaction is proceeding in both directions. This is the absolute basics of the differences between strong and weak acids. And we can go into it further in a few other videos, talking about the electronegativity of certain um, of the substances. And mostly in the case of weak acids, you'll notice that they are organic. For example, CH3COOH. But this is just the basics. If you have any questions, write them below. In the next lecture, we'll be discussing, I think, alcohols, so primary, tertiary, and secondary alcohols. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.